of the month. I guess, are you supposed to do it for, like, it was your favorite last month? I guess that's what it is. I don't know. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a Top 5 Wednesday video. Top 5 Wednesday was originally created by Ginger Reads Laney, and it is now run by Sam over on Thoughts on Tomes, so I will leave her link down below as well as Lainey's link, as well as the Goodreads group if you guys want to join us for topics and whatnot. So without further ado, let us get started. This week's topic for Top 5 Wednesday is to talk about your favorites that aren't books. Which is like weird for me because I don't really talk about my favorites because I can never decide. I have five things that I attempted to discuss. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Probably will be a total fail of a video. This has been my favorite like lip thing for basically my entire life and it's now discontinued and I'm really upset about it. It's the color that I'm wearing right now. It's called Luster. And it's from this store called Carol Visage. Which is like where I go to get like my eyebrows done. I think I got it for free because it was one of the like promotional things and it was like get a free thing if you do this. So I think that's what it was. But I'm obsessed with it. I cracked it by dropping it so it has this huge, you know, crack in it. So I attempted to tape it because they don't make it anymore and I was like I am not letting this dry out because it is my life. It's the color I wear in pretty much every single video I make. So once it's gone, my life is over. So if you guys know a color that's like this color. Let me know because I need to get another color like this or I'm gonna cry and be depressed with my life. So this has been my favorite forever but they don't make it anymore. So my life is gonna suck. My second favorite thing is actually a musician who I am obsessed with. Pretty much my life goal is to get everybody to listen to this musician now because like since October he's literally the only person I've been listening to. It's John Bellion. If you have not listened to a John Bellion song, please please go listen to one. His most popular song is All Time Low. It's playing on the radio now. And a lot of people know it because he's touring with 21 Pilots right now, so everybody's like, oh my god, it's 21 Pilots! And I'm like, no, it's actually John Bellion. Don't even get me started. I want to play a couple of his songs for you. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted, but like, I'm literally obsessed with him, and you all need to listen to him. Thank you. Okay, so this is his most popular song, All Time Low. So, are you ready? <laughs> Okay, so that's his most popular song, okay? Like, it's good, but it's so overplayed now that I'm just like, okay, like, people are annoying because they're like, oh my god, if they've ever heard that song, they're like, oh my god, I love John Belly, and I'm like, name one other song other than that song. You can't back up off me. This is my favorite song by him. I'm, like, obsessed with it. And it's called Eyes to the Sky, and it is the best song ever. And then this one's Two Rocking Chairs, which is Dan's favorite. I don't know if it's his favorite, but it's the one that he showed me to get me into John Bellion, and I'm obsessed with it as well. I'm just like, I'm obsessed with him. He's literally the only music I'll listen to now since October. I just love his music. He's so honest 
and just like his lyrics are so good. He writes his own music. I'm pretty sure he directs it all or produces it, whatever it's called. You guys need to listen to him. Like I'll leave his links down below for his like YouTube and stuff, but like seriously check him out because he's so good. So that was like five minutes of me dancing. <laughs> to John Bellion. I have no shame. I love every single one of his songs. I don't think there's one that I don't like. So if you guys want recommendations on which ones to listen to, I will totally help you out with that. Because I have my favorites, but those were the three that like are the most standout-ish to me because of like, you know, one being the most popular, one's like the song that Dan showed me, and then one's just my favorite. So, but there are so many more that you all need to listen to. I'm going to stop rambling about John Bellion now and move on to my next thing, which is like a scent that I'm obsessed with and it is the pink cashmere scent from Bath and Body Works. Okay, I have religiously only worn pink chiffon for like basically my entire high school life, university life. I'll wear like other things once in a while but it's mostly been pink chiffon for basically my entire existence. At Christmas time, Andrea and Nick who are Dan's brother and girlfriend got me the pink cashmere from Bath and Body Works and I've literally only worn this now. I'm obsessed with it. It smells so freaking good. Like, I don't know how to explain it, like what it's supposed to smell like, but it's kind of like musky and usually I'm more of a like florally sweet kind of smelling girl. Does that make sense? But this is definitely not what I would usually go for, but you guys should wear it because it smells delicious. And people always tell you you smell good, so like just flip your hair in their direction and they're like, damn, you smell good. And I'm like, I know, thank you. And this is why, so you should all buy it. And then I have another like thing that I got recently from the mall. And if you don't know, I have an obsession with Funko Pops. If you couldn't tell by my back drop. Well, I was in one of the stores that sell Funko Pops and I uh, came across this little guy, it's Rue. <laughs> I'm obsessed with him. I love Rue so much. I call myself Rue. My mom, it's still, I'm trying to make it catch on with her. It's not working because she's Kanga and I'm Rue. Do you get it? Like, we're so cute, adorable. They don't make a Kanga pop. So like, Funko, if you're watching this, like, make a Kanga pop so I can have Kanga and Rue. So it's like mother-daughter, you know, except Rue's a boy. But like, we can pretend I'm a boy for now, okay? It's fine. But like, look at him in his little blue shirt. And like, this is childhood, guys. And I am so excited about it. They only had Rue and the Woozle. So like, if it was Eeyore, I would have been like, excited for Eeyore too because Eeyore is my favorite. But I mean, like, Rue is a Rue is still good. Rue is still good because I am Rue. And Rue is me. And therefore, I'm happy about this. And my final favorite for this month is actually my candle back there. I love candles so dang much. I don't know what it is about them, but they make me so happy. And this one is a Charmed Aroma candle. If you don't know what a Charmed Aroma candle is, it's basically a candle, but they have little jewelry inside of it, so when you burn it, there's a little foil package and it either has a necklace or a ring in it. You can order which one you want. I always get the ring ones with my mom and a lot of the rings never fit me because my hands are tiny but now you can order what size ring you want so I can get my size 5 ring and it's just like great because usually they're like size 8 and I'm like how is this going to fit my finger? This one is coconut vanilla and I got it for Christmas. I actually bought it for myself and bought one for my mom because I have no self control and I was like if she gets one I get one because logic of Jan is currently burning and I'm hoping that the ring will come out soon because I'm very impatient and I just want to know what it looks like and I'm obsessed with shiny jewelry things so I need it to come off now so chop chop charmed aroma burn faster thank you okay right, guys so that was my favorites video probably didn't make any sense probably really boring for you guys but I mean like I can talk about anything for hours the key message of this video was listen to John Bellion thank you I will see you all in my next video goodbye